Hey guys, it is me, uh, 80 so to the guys today, guys. I have some big news to discuss on FC Barcelona, guys. This, inter this international break, we haven't really seen Barcelona say a lot of stuff. And uh, we had some big discussions about Robert, Roman Plaz wanting to leave as a sporting director. Um, we're going to have a new sporting director, I believe, sometime soon. Um, and now we have a big, big announcement from Albert Rogue, who is the journalist here. You can see his bio here. I'm going to be using the translate thing on um, Twitter. And yeah, he's a journalist here. And today we have some big major news to discuss, and that is Danny Alves could potentially join Barcelona back. And it's a big move. It's a big move. So let me go ahead and give you guys the um, latest here on this. So let's go ahead and look in here right here. Uh, we'll translate it here. So it says right here, uh, Javi wants him already in the dynamics of the first team, and he's expected to train next week. And the club, they believe they will not be able to register you until January 1st by regulations as they're free... Uh, Within the with the market closed. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we could honestly get Danny Alves, guys. Danny Alves for me is a huge important player. And I know people will be uh, coming out here with criticism, and I know people will say, "Well, uh, you you can't really expect Danny Alves to be your first choice right back. He isn't going to be our first choice right back." Let me like let me just make it clear. Dest will still be the first choice. I just want him in the club so he can mentor Dest and. He can improve Dest's game to a whole new level. Because for me, Sergio Dest is a very quality player. From what I've seen from Barcelona and the U.S. Men's National Team, he has been very, very good, guys. Very good indeed with his technical ability, his ability to score goals. It's amazing. My only concern is that when it comes to the crosses in the box, he's very ineffective. And when he's having to do some defending, he's very ineffective and not very good at. And I feel like with Dest, you know the quality he has as a player, I think he can take it on a new, whole new level. And keep in mind, guys, if we don't have a Dest available to us, we have to play Roberto Mingueza, and neither of these two are really great options for the right back. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, Danny Alves, I would actually much prefer him to be an alternative compared to those two. You know, so I think it's not only a great move on the um, the um, – Player, uh, um, the locker room is also good on the pitch as well because I said there is really no great right back so we have back up to Dest, you know. And you can see right here, this is a quote here from Sport. Um, we count on Sport. Javi has said yes to the uh, signing Danny Alves. The return of the Brazilian to Barcelona is already taken for granted. The intention of a club is to announce next week, next week so it can be incorporated into the dynamics of the first team. So, yeah, man, I just enough for me, guys. Danny Alves, for me, he could offer so much to us. You see what he's been doing for Brazil and um you know, um, what this? What's the team he he played for? Uh, I forgot. He played for one Brazil team. I forgot what's called. Let's see. He's right now thirty eight years old as well, um, and the fact that he's still playing at thirty eight is just remarkable, man. Um, yeah, he played for San Paulo as well. So you know, you just look at his career. He's at man. He's honestly had an amazing career. He's won so many trophies. Um, for his team, you know, I think he's won the most trophies ever in football, which is amazing, you know. And I just think for me, he's just been phenomenal. He's been honestly phenomenal, man. And you got to give him a ton of props. A ton of, ton of props. And here's another thing that's also cool. He's going to come on a free. He's going to come on a free agent. And you know, you guys know how convenient that is for Barca. Because right now, guys, we are in a position we have to sign as many free agents as we can. And obviously, we still have to pay the wages. But um, the free agents, we have to be very, very... We'll probably sign more of than you ever seen in the past because of how bad the finance situation is at Barcelona, you know. And I just think for me, guys, this is a huge move. This is a huge, huge move um, for us. And I think Barcelona should take this um, uh, for granted because, as I said, I think Danny Alves for me is someone that could help for us in the short term. And I think it could be here for like around a solid two to three years. Will he be here for five, six years? No, I, I don't think he is. I think he's going to stay short three years. And he did stay, and I believe he did. He wanted to uh, uh, retire at Barcelona. And I think if he did retire at Barcelona, it'd be a great way to end his prestigious career because we know he left Barcelona because of the whole Bartomeu situation. We know that Bartomeu basically forced him to leave the club and he basically left against his own will. And, you know, now we have Laporta here. And obviously we know Laporta is a superior manner, uh, superior president to um, Bartomeu in the sense that I think um, he will respect the players a lot more. And obviously I think this is a great, great move indeed. So, Will it change Barcelona significantly to the point where we'll now be able to win La Liga and that? No. Let's not get that reaction, you guys, because this still we still have to improve other positions. We still need a center back. We still need right winger. We still need a striker. We still need a CDM. We still have other positions to invest in. But this is the start of something bright, you know. And as I say, I'd rather have this and not have this. So that's it for today, guys. Just want to give you guys my quick thoughts on the situation. 
you know, um, maybe it's looking like it's gonna happen. I might do an official video on my channel whenever it is official. But for right now, guys, let's just wait until it is official. So this is just my quick thoughts. I will be leaving the link below in the description below. It is coming from Albert Rogue, and this is coming from Sports. So yeah, you can see right here. This is Sports Channel, um, Sports Twitter. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you guys check out me and my other pops listed in the description below. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.